So I've tried sim racing wirelessly on the Oculus Quest with ALVR and more recently with Virtual Desktop which did a much better job. But now it's time to give it a go with Oculus Link. Uh, I'll show you the cables that I've got that I know work. I've tried it at the desk, haven't actually sim raced at all with it yet. But uh, yeah, no freezing, worked perfectly. Um, let me flick it over to the desktop there. So I just got a 90 degree USB-C adapter here. Uh, that's six odd quid. Oh, this is all from Amazon. Uh, the recommended cable from Oculus. I just got the shortest one because because uh, I've got an extension lead, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and because I was impatient, it was arriving the quickest. So just the anchor power line there. And finally, this is the extension cable I've got, Active 3.0 extender. Um, I believe in America, it's, this is branded as like cable creations. And I saw lots of people saying it worked. Um, it's exactly the same one, it's just different brand, different branded, well branded differently. Uh, like 11 quid. You can get it for about 9 quid on eBay. Uh, yeah, so those three items, and it works great. Um, that's a that's a five meter cable, and it's all in all, I've got like six meters, and I've got it that length, so I can go up over the ceiling and down, like I've always done before. Right, okay, you can't see what I'm seeing for Oculus Home, but basically, in the Oculus environment, I'm just looking at a big screen of Content Manager as you can see on the screen there so I'm just running GT cars here just 10 opponents no not too many as I say OBS is a hit I'll start at the back to keep some cars in front of me uh, opponent strength uh, let's just keep it low so I don't have to worry about talking and driving just keep among the pack clear during the day right now soul isn't loaded the way I've seemed to find the only way I've found it for me to work is from here click go it will start Steam VR and load on track uh, and then whenever I come off track and go back in I do it all sort of through Steam VR don't come back to Oculus Home that seems to mess things up I don't know if that makes sense but that's really by the by so let's just get going uh, so click go and in theory let's put on let's see if it will do yeah there we go so it's done steam vr loaded steam vr up and hopefully put me on track and the race sim studios the the, the barrow the new car from them pretty awesome Right, as I say, ob OBS is a big hit for me. And I probably should have lowered super sampling. I'm just going to confirm with you what I've got it on. Right, I've got it at 126%. So the current setting range is each eye at 2028 20, by 2244. Um, I could probably lower that <laughs> when I've got OBS running, but we'll see how, we'll see how we get on. Right, straight off the bat, compared to Oculus Wire Quest Wireless, I'm completely static. Before there was micro as the car, like any slight movement of the head, it was exaggerating a little bit. The outside world wasn't jittering around, but the car was, and the UI. That's not happening now, really. Only a tiny bit because of performance issues, because of obs uh, now and then, but. Um, Otherwise, yes, perfectly stable, exactly the same as when I'm using the Vive or Vive Pro Wide. Okay, right off the bat, as to be expected, it's vastly superior to wireless. Um, the smoothness is there, 
I mean, this is with orbs running, which is usually a massive hit. Um, so I know it can be even. This is smooth. This is 90, 95 plus percent smooth. But any tiny little jitters will be taken away just by not having OBS running. Yeah, this is. This is basically on par with my Wired Vive Pro. Uh, graphically, you know, it's basically the same. I'm running this space, pretty much the same resolution. The screen door effect, I think, is actually better on the Oculus Quest. Um, some people say they noticed it's not quite as sharp running Oculus Link. Um, don't know, hard to tell. I guess not running back to back. Uh, so I'm not 100% not sure on that. All I can say, it looks great. And it's, it runs fantastic. As for all intents and purposes, this just feels like a wired PC uh, headset with with the same performance as using lighthouses or base stations. Yet yeah, this is just inside out tracking. Um, again, not concentrating. I'm still getting left behind. I will say uh, when I have swapped over to a Vive. That's brighter than this. But certainly, the Oculus Quest doesn't seem to be as bright. Well, it wasn't running it wireless. I assume that's the same now. I think I think the Vive is a brighter headset than this. But yeah, this looks great. I mean, there's not a lot to say about this. Uh, I was asked to give a comparison, and you know, I don't think anyone was in any doubt that this was going to perform better um, but I have to say instantly and this is my first time trying it on track yeah it's great yeah a bit of performance issue there slightly but I know that's OBS for me my computer struggles running OBS and this at the same time and I'll give it a go um, and just mention it in the conclusion of the video whether it is absolutely smooth without OBS running as I suspect it will be but yeah pretty awesome Okay, so at the end of the day, it's a fully fledged wired PC VR experience. Uh, I've not had a Rift, but I have had the original Vive and the Vive Pro. And it really is basically the same or very similar experience to the Vive Pro. Um, maybe if I'm nitpicking, maybe there's it's not quite as sharp. But I mean, that's, it's almost nothing. And... Maybe you really need to play back to back to notice, but um, I might be just convincing myself because I've seen other people talk about it. But honestly, it looks great. Uh, I've just been playing without OBS running, and it was perfect, perfectly butter smooth. Um, yeah, fantastic 
had a go at night racing and obviously being um, OLED, just fantastic black levels. Uh, really good experience. I mean, yeah, it's 72 hertz instead of, what, 90 or whatever. Do I notice? I don't think so. <laughs> I'd forgotten all about that. Um, yeah, I had a perfectly good frame rate, no reprojection, which is exactly what I'm looking for. So, yeah, totally happy with it. The only slight annoying aspects of it are it wants me to... Uh, make or at least confirm the guardian every time i put it on i thought with developer mode turned off that wasn't a thing but it's, it, you know it just it doesn't take long slightly annoying but it doesn't take long um another bonus is currently uh, stormland on revive runs pretty crap <laughs> uh running it through oculus link i can have an ultra settings and it's really smooth it's beautiful um, unfortunately not wireless for me like I've got on the Vive Pro but you know with the graphics increased that dramatically I'll, I'll forego that um, yeah if you've got any questions pop them down in the comments and I'll always respond but yeah it does exactly what it says on the tin and it's only in beta so it'll get better what can get better I don't know it does exactly what I need it to do so <laughs> it's brilliant um, can't see why you go for Rift S, to be honest with you. All right, okay, that'll do. Uh, quick and simple. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.